Hey guys, welcome back to Angel and Angela. And on this topic, you guys, I wanted to talk about how the narcissist has declared war against you. So the narcissist, you guys, they have declared war against you. Why? What did you do to deserve this? Um, you know, what have you done to them for them to take out their personal pain, their anger of the things they didn't accomplish or the things that didn't go right in their life. What did you do to receive that type of hate? See, there's this type of hate that the narcissist gives you. Um, They look at you with disgust. They look at you like you're stupid. They look at you like you're not onto what they're doing. Or even if you're onto them, they think you're so dumb for still sticking around, right? A lot of times, we know who these people are. We see through everything, through through their hurt, their pain, their anger. We see it all, but the narcissist still looks at you as if you're dumb and you're pathetic for giving them a chance because in their eyes, they have declared war against you. They feel as if anything you do or say will be held against you. And in their mind, they have already created plenty of scenarios to why they should treat you the way they should treat you and why they should betray you. They feel as if most people... Um, come to a place in their life where the love will turn into hate, right? And it usually does. Just even, even you yourself, you can love the narcissist and it can turn into hate because you realize that this person has deceived you. But in the narcissist's mind, they feel as if anyone and everyone who they cross will eventually hate them because they know that Everything they do is based on a lie. And sometimes they do bring the worst out of you. And then sometimes you realize that you have bit your tongue for a long time. You feel, um, you know, sometimes as if that betrayal has turned you into someone who's angry because you realize that you never were able to do anything about what the narcissist did to you. Maybe you were in a position to do something, but you felt frozen in time. You felt as if if you did something, maybe your life um, is at stake and you feel as if, you know, if you do something to the narcissist, they're just going to keep coming at you harder and harder. And sometimes that's what kind of pushes you away from from taking it to the next level and Sometimes you truly are a good person. I mean, you can be in situations where you have all the right to try to protect yourself and a part of you will still forgive the narcissist or a part of you, it's not that you forgive them, but you're so, you feel so depleted from their negative energy that you're kind of like, I throw the red flag, you know, I'm throwing in the red flag go ahead, do whatever you want to do. You, you're you already making me see things that I don't want to see. You're making me experience things that I don't even want to see or be around. So at this point, do whatever you want to do. I give up. I throw in the towel. And the narcissist wants you to throw in the towel. You know, the dar- the narcissist, it's a demonic spirit that just does not want to let go. Um, it doesn't want to let go until it knows that it has destroyed you completely. Um, the narcissist, you guys, they have declared war against you from the start. And um, in moments where... You catch them lying or you catch them making up stories about you or you catch them telling your personal business to people, to the same people they claim they don't even like. Um, When you start to see these behaviors um, and you call them out on it, you will see that they will get aggressive. They will get physical. They will call you names. They'll spit on you. And what's so horrible about that is that 
These people know that they're lying to you. These people know that they're deceiving you. These people know that they are using you. They know that they have tricked you in order to have a car or a place to stay or a ride or um, conversation or, you know, a therapist, a coach to push them to the next person, to elevate them. You know, these people are disgusting. They prey on you. You know, they might be in the, in the same boat as you, in the same situation as you. But they have already declared war in their mind because they're living in, sur in survival mode. They have already declared war. And in their mind, it's, I'm going to get whatever I want to get. And I don't care. I, I, I don't care about anyone but myself. I don't care who I hurt along the process. I don't care if I do the same things that were done to me to someone else. I don't care. I like being this way at this point. And I'm having a hard time trying to get out of this mentality. So I've decided that I'm not going to fight it anymore. I'm going to be me. I'm going to be evil. I'm going to think about me and me and my and myself. And if you don't like it, you know, leave. That's how they look at it. And they'll come at you with this type of attitude only if they know that they have control over you. If they know they don't have control over you, they won't act this way. And if they do and you put boundaries up and you leave, you will see that they'll contact you. They'll keep trying to hoover you. They'll make up stories just to talk to you. They'll say anything. They'll literally tell you that a family member is in a hospital. Or they'll tell you that they found out something that you know, something horrible. But you know that in times of need, in times of um, situations where you need them or, or in situations where you've seen them go through other things, you've already seen that there was no empathy there for the people around them or for yourself. So why is it that when these type of people hoover, it's easy to believe that they're in a distressed um, state of mind. And these people will hoover you, know that they lied, stole from you, cheated on you. Um, and, and, and literally, they feel as if they're, you know, they have the right to take from you, because they feel as if you should have known that they're not they're on survival mode, you should have known that they only want one thing, and that's to better themselves or elevate themselves or fulfill their fantasies or satisfy whatever needs they have. And what's so crazy, you guys, is that you might not even be attracted to them. I know in my case, I wasn't even attracted to this person. But when you give these type of people a chance, they they uh, act like they're empathetic people and you fall for it. And by the time that they're showing you who they truly are, you have already been sexual with them. You've invested time and it almost becomes this. It's like you're pulling at yourself because it's like this person isn't who I thought they were, but maybe they are. Maybe they are. Maybe they're just having a bad time or a bad day or they're going through something. But um, it's crazy because, like I said, you won't even be attracted to these type of people because you're attracted to the persona that they're putting up, uh, that, that mask. And um, by the time they drop that mask, they have a very boastful personality where it's like, I'm attractive. You're with me. You can't leave me alone because I'm just so great. You know, I'm, I'm used to getting this type of attention. I get it from all different. I get it from different women and different men. You know, they have that energy. But in actuality... They basically trafficked you, abused you, raped you, spiritually raped you by lying to you um, in order to get what they wanted. Because every narcissist is different according to what their needs are. But they all are the same when it comes to um, making everything about themselves and control. They won't stop. So they get that control. They will stalk you. They will come around your house. They will break windows, doors. 
They will park in front of your house. They will drive by, leave notes in your car. They will come to your job. They will come to your school. They'll write on your car. You know, um, they'll do anything to get your attention because in their mind, they have declared war and they need to go after anyone they can get. Anyone that they can get, they will try to get. They don't look at you like a human being. They look at you like another soldier and they look at your life as being meaningless because they feel as if you're the enemy. They treat you as if you're the enemy. And you think to yourself, how am I the enemy and all I've done is be good to this person, right? How can I be the enemy? The narcissist does not like people. They don't like anyone. They pretend to like people. They pretend to feel, to act normal. Deep inside, this person is filled with anger. And you will see it the longer you're around them. You will see that, yes, they have those moments where they're happy, but if they're happy because they're keeping lies from you, because they're using your energy to get other people friends and 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 bring their families close to each other, even though they they talk about their families, you know, but they're secretly talking bad about you to them. You know, they have already declared war on you. And you will see that anger that builds up inside of them. Um, you know, they're angry. They're upset for no reason. You're, you know, you'll ask them if something's bothering them. They'll never tell you what's bothering them. They'll have moments where they'll, they'll even cry. And you think to yourself, well, why is this person crying? And they'll make up a story. And you'll think to yourself, well, why is it that they never have empathy for anything, but they're crying all of a sudden? And sometimes you'll question, are, are, is this person crying over someone else? Another supply? Because they didn't get their way? Or because they got used? And now that, that anger they feel, they're turning it on you. And because you call them out on it, they lash out even harder. Like if you actually did something to them. Not only that. Not only will they physically and mentally abuse you, but if the narcissist gets their way, they're going to throw the new supply at you. You know, um, they're going to gang stalk you at work. You know, they're going to, you know, the family, the family will send you flying monkeys and, and people if you, if you have separated yourself from certain narcissists. And it's like this ripple effect of this dark energy trying to attack you. And it, and it, 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 and it wants you not to trust anyone and it wants you to go into survival mode. It wants you to be like the narcissist, but you just won't allow it. And because you won't allow it, those narcissists in your life will take it up a notch because they have already declared war. That spirit has already declared war against you. That spirit is like this person is still filled with love. I'm waiting for them to throw sticks and stones at the narcissist so the narcissist can go back and tell everyone how much of a horrible person you are. And what's so crazy is that these narcissists know that they're all in cahoots with each other, even though they don't know each other. They're in cahoots with each other. And, you know, when this narcissist has declared war on you, it's almost as if they want to provoke you. They want you to lash out. They want you to do outrageous things, all because they want to get you in some type of trouble. You know, they will put you in situations where you're literally defending yourself, but then they're recording you on their phone. They're recording you lashing out. They're recording you to make you look like a crazy person. And then and then as soon as they're done recording, they'll start hitting you. They'll get aggressive. Then they'll call the police on you and, and show them that you were the aggressor, even though you weren't. 
the narcissist has declared war on you. And the reason I give you this example is because someone who has declared war on you will always want to see you fail in anything and in everything that you do. And yes, the same people that you that you helped will literally bite the hand that fed them. You know, once you start to develop into your true self and you begin to shine that light and you're able to live your dream and elevate yourself into that heaven, you don't think there's going to be a different devil trying to pull you down? Using the people around you that you have elevated with to pull you down? It wants you to live in fear. But the moment that you see that there's jealousy, there's hate, there's envy in someone, you know that that's your time to go or separate yourself from that person. Because now you don't know what scheme that spirit has in order to get get to you. This narcissist, you guys, this spirit that's lingering inside of these type of people wants nothing more but to destroy you it has it you know once that narcissist knows that you're nothing like them they don't like you and they'll tell you i don't like bad people you know if i wanted a bad person i can go be with a bad person i don't like those type of girls i don't like those type of dudes like they'll say these things to you but they're lying they'll tell you you know that they're with you because you're classy but they're lying to you they really think that you're weak because you're nice they really think that you're naive even when you know what's going on, you just accept them for them. They don't understand loyalty. They don't understand that there's empaths that actually accept people for who they are and that are okay with it. They don't, they don't understand that empaths are willing to accept you for who you are as long as you're not lying about who you are. That's what affects the empath spirit are lies, deception. That's when your alarm comes on and it just something doesn't feel right. You feel like someone is sucking at your energy and you don't know where it's coming from. And a lot of times you do know where it's coming from. You just don't want to accept it because you just don't understand the why. There's no why to it. If you see, hear, evil, you know, chances are there's evil in that person lingering, trying to get to you. That narcissist, you guys, um, wants to destroy you. Um, and this video is to let you guys know to defend yourselves. You're empaths, but you, you came across a lot of narcissists for a reason. It was so that you can finally protect yourselves. If you guys can avoid... These type of people, avoid them. Don't speak about them. Don't listen to anything that has to do with them. Don't look at none of the negative energy that they're trying to, to show you. You know, they'll, they'll send you pictures. They'll do all type of things to mess with your brain. It's all part of the narcissist, demonic spirits, mind game. And guess what? You'll be in situations where you're, you, can, you can defend yourself and the narcissist will make up a, a crazy scenario, a very crazy scenario to make themselves look like the victim. I've told you guys before, I have an aunt who um, had breast cancer, you know, in chemo and she lied about me. And to me, that's when I realized that these narcissists, you guys, they play dirty. It's all mind games. It's all they're trying to hypnotize you. They're trying to control you. They're trying to brainwash you. They're trying to sex traffic you. You might not be 
being trafficked to different men and women or whatever. You might not be trafficked because you feel like, oh, I'm only sleeping with this person. But guess what? Once you leave that person, they have already taken you out of your comfort zone, out of your lifestyle, out of your 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 safe place. They have took you away from your foundation. So guess what? Now you're out in the wild. And guess what? All the people, all the predators that are connected to that same energy, now they're after you. And and you will and, and you will find yourself in situations and positions where you feel like Do I have to now sell myself to being a narcissist? Because it seems like I can't even be myself anymore because people are labeling me because of what this person has done to me because they have taken me out of everything that I believed in. And now people look at me like there's something wrong with me. Now I have flying monkeys that I'm fighting and I'm, I don't, I don't feel like I should have to prove anything to anyone, but why won't these people leave me alone? Because they have declared war, your family, your friends, you know, they have declared war. They're trying to, you know, they're fighting over money. They're fighting over different things and they're accusing you of things. They're sending people to your home. They're, you know, stalking you. They're cyber stalking you. They're tapping into your phones. These people do all kinds of crazy things, you guys. I literally just went somewhere and grabbed a pen from someone. And when I got home, I felt like I was being watched. And when I looked at the pen, I thought to myself, is this a camera? And then I'm like, no, I'm not that crazy. Like, you're crazy. Like, my inner self was having a whole conversation with my with me. And my my inner self was telling me this is a this is a camera. And and my other side was like, girl, you're crazy. And something told me, my inner self said, okay, we'll break the pen in half then. And I did. And guess what? There was a USB. There was um, a USB so you can plug it in to charge it. And there was a SIM card where everything was being saved. And I said, wow. Trust your inner voice, you guys. Your inner voice is never wrong. That's the problem with us. We have so many times where our inner voice is telling us this person's lying, this person's cheating, this person just had sex in this room, this person, someone just left here. So many different thoughts and you ignore them. This person's a pedophile, this person's gay. And people will, you might not have any evidence and that's another reason you might look like the crazy person, but it's not up to you to prove to everyone who this person is. It's up to you to freaking survive and leave. Save yourself because anyone around the narcissist, they're not safe. The narcissist isn't even safe. They've given themselves to evil and they're going to be taken out by evil, you guys. So I hope this message was helpful. For you guys, always defend yourselves, you guys, because you don't want to look back years later and say, I wish I would have done this differently. I wish I would have done that differently. Always put yourself first. It doesn't matter if you're going to look like a villain to people. It doesn't matter what people think. Do what you know is right. Do not keep letting these type of people get away. That's that's where you come in. You are karma. You do not let these people walk over you. If they've done it to other people, it's up to you to say, well, I know they've done it to other people. So guess what? I'm not going to just let them get away with this one fast. Because you know what? If it was the other way around, the narcissist will kill you, destroy you, call the cops on you, set you up, lie on you. They're not going to think twice. And you know the narcissist does not stop. Once they start, they don't stop. So you need to have enough evidence to to have to to prove that there's something wrong with this person. Because guess what? When you bring it up to the judge or other people or people who who um have to investigate this type of person, guess what? Everything that they're doing, the narcissist does everything the same in different ways. So if you present this type of person to a judge, 
The judge is going to see right through this person. Because one thing you can always expect from the narcissist is you can always expect them not to take accountability. You know, they can never take accountability for anything. And when they do, um, you know, a lot of times they, they put themselves in situations where you know they're lying. They're blame shifting and they don't want to take accountability. And as soon as they do that, guess what? It's over for them. That's the difference between you you and the narcissist is that you're willing to take accountability for falling for the narcissist lies, for not leaving, for staying. You're able to take the accountability. The narcissist isn't able to take that accountability for what they've done to you and many people and others and who they will continue to hurt. They won't, no matter how bad things get for them. So um, abort mission, you guys. The narcissists are out here. And, um, you know, if you're if you're someone that has never been through this type of abuse before and you find you're like, this person's being weird because, you know, then they're taking me out to eat and they're being nice to me and we're watching movies and we're cuddling and everything is different afterwards. But it doesn't stay like that for too long. Like, if they would just stay like this, everything would be perfect. Chances are you're dealing with a narcissist and they're using you. And you might think they're not. But you're wasting your time. You're wasting your youth. You're wasting your your time where you could be succeeding and, 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 and putting your time onto better and bigger things. You're wasting your time with this person, especially if they're older than you and they still don't have their life together and they're sitting here trying to party with you and do things with you. This person is someone who is clout chasing, who is clout chasing younger generations, who wants to go and, you know, do They want to keep involving themselves in low vibration because they're low vibrational people. You know, it's okay to be young and and wild and live your life, but do not fall for these predators. They love coming around. You know, if if you're in Vegas right now, everyone's in Vegas right now, right? You're going to see a whole bunch of old men around preying on young women and they're sitting there like... I'm going to catch me a fish. I don't know which one, but one of these days and I'm going to invite people into, you know, strangers into my cabana to make it look like I have friends and and I'm living the life. And if, you know, I might have a girlfriend and if you don't want to entertain me, someone else will. That's their whole game. You guys, this person is on survival mode. And this person is after any and everyone, you guys. Pay attention to how these people live and pay attention to how their families live. And if they are around toxic family members and they claim that they can't stand their toxic family members, they're lying to you. A lot of t- a lot of chances that they're lying to you. You know, sometimes it might seem like they're a victim, but if you see that they're telling you one thing and you're seeing something else. Pay attention to what you see. Don't pay attention to what you hear anymore. So I leave you guys with this message, you guys. I hope this message was clear, was helpful for you guys. The narcissist does not get better. They get worse because of their inner sin. They keep lying. They keep cheating. They keep stealing And then they claim they want to have good vibrations and good frequencies. Frequencies do not lie. And when you force yourself into that frequency, you will be forced out of that frequency. If you hear me. So leave your um, comments down below. Do not forget to like this video, you guys. Please, please, please share, like, comment. And if you have not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe, you guys. I love you guys. I'm sending everyone lots of light and lots of peace. And I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Bye.